Shalom, Kohaloyam, Wahua, like Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Das. That's all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh. In the name of Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, his only begotten Son. In the name of Baha Shem, the Holy Spirit, Rakakwadash. Double honors are definitely due unto the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the elders who rule and teach well. Salutations, peace, and blessings be unto the Ba'afdawada, that is the house of David, the elect. I'm Shamar Moth here with a quick World War III prophecy in short, okay? And uh, it says this just then, but this broke, this news broke about six hours ago, okay? Um, Today, all right, today being um, Tuesday, all right, November uh, the 15th. 2022, the year of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh turning up. And boy, was that ever an apropos title for 2022, man. Given to the elder apostle Tahar through the power of spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh the year of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh turning up. Okay? Because this is major news what went down over there in Poland today. Okay, this is major, man. This is a big deal. All right, now you see the... Uh, the headline right here off of End Times headlines, Russian missiles strike on border of NATO state of Poland, killing at least two and prompting emergency meeting. OK, so things are escalating in this part of the world. Things are escalating in the Indo-Pacific region. OK, the beef between China and Taiwan, the beef between China and Japan. OK, which Babylon, the great AK America is all up in the, in the mix over there. OK, the fighting that's going on in Syria. OK, between Gog and Magog, AK Russia, Gomer, AK Turkey. OK, the, the, the so-called Israeli state. OK, and of course, Babylon, the great over there, too. All right. The horrors everywhere, man. OK, and now this. All right. What it what Russia launched over over 100 missiles. You know, uh, it hit several uh, Ukrainian cities today, okay? And they're saying that uh, a couple of them landed in Poland, killing a, a couple people, man. All right? So, it's that time, man. As the brother says, we're in those times. We are in them times, man. And the Lord mercifully sent watchmen. OK, it, sa it says in Isaiah, the 62nd chapter, you know, he 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 set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. OK, which Jerusalem is you so-called Negroes, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians. All right. Jerusalem is a people before a place along with you speckled birds, man, Israelite foreigners. The Lord set up watchmen. OK, to 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 uh, uh, observe these current events. Filter them through the scriptures, filter them through the prophecies, okay, and warn you Israelites, man. Warn you to do what? Warn you to flee from the wrath that's coming, man. Warn you to repent, all right? And if you've already uh, come into the truth, okay, then your job is to what? Watch and pray, man. Yahweh Shah said to watch and pray. Watch and pray. Pray that you're accounted worthy to, to, to stand when the Son of Man returns, man, when Yahweh Shah comes back. Pray that you're worthy to escape all these things that are coming upon the earth. All right? To escape this third uh, woe that's coming quickly, man, pursuant to uh, Revelation the 11th chapter and the 14th verse. Again, off of End Times headlines, Russian missiles strike on border of NATO state of Poland, killing at least two and prompting emergency meeting. All right? It says two people have been killed in Poland after two stray Russian rockets landed near the border with Ukraine. The rockets landed in the NATO state following Russia's mass bombardment of Ukrainian cities earlier today, which saw over 100 rockets launched. According to the AP News Agency, a senior U.S. intelligence official said that the missiles were of Russian origin. Poland's prime minister Matus Morawiecki, Salakia for the pronunciation, 
has convened the Committee of the Council of Ministers for National Security and Defense Affairs as a matter of urgency, government spokesman uh, Piotr Mueller confirmed with local news sites claiming this is likely a result of the explosion. Look here, the president of the Ukraine, Zelensky, he's a so-called J-O-O. He's one of them fake J-O-O-Z. He's a, a, a 1948er, man. Okay, this could very well be a false flag. All right, the Ukraine could be behind this. Babylon the Great, aka America, could be behind this. Okay, again, false flag. Not everything is as it seems. Okay, but who are they going to pin it on? If in fact it is, okay, they're going to, of, of course, they're going to uh, uh, point the blame to Russia, man. Okay. The scriptures, the scriptures talks about the least of the flock, okay? These Amalekites, the so-called Israeli state, it talks about them uh, 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 doing what? Um, drawing these nations into this third world's war, man. Hold on. Let's get that. You know, Jeremiah, it's like your Jeremiah, the 49th chapter. Okay. Get right to the point in verse 20. Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 20. It says, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he hath taken against Edom and his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Okay, Teman, Bozrah, right, Edom, they're all code for America. Okay, it says, Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. Right, again, the, the so-called Israeli state. All right, who Zelensky is tied to, all right? The, 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 he's an Amalekite, man. All right? The least of the flock are going to draw these world powers into this third world's war. Again, that's coming quickly, all right? It says the earth is moved at the noise of their fall. At the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. All right, right, man, the whole earth is going to uh, be moved when Babylon the Great is destroyed, Okay? And we're not saying that this is coming like within the next couple of days. I mean, other prophecies have to be have to be fulfilled first. But hey, you know, the the the, the nukes are going to consume Babylon. Okay? Babylon's going to be turned into a great old great big old <laughs> lake of fire, man. All right, verse 22, that's the that's the end. All right, that's that's the that's Babylon's, you know, uh, 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 fate, man. Okay? Being destroyed, you know, by nuclear missiles. It says, Behold, verse 22, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Bozrah. Again, code for uh, America. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. Man, um, the American military is through, man. Okay? Even her mighty men are going to be over here weeping and wailing, not wanting to fight, man. They're going to be... Again, as, as the heart of a woman in her pangs, scared shitless, man. Okay? Scared shitless when this thing, you know, pops off. All right? Again, what happened today is is, is a big deal, man. Meanwhile, you know, you, you got Jake over here concerned uh, 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 only about, you know, only... Wanting to, uh, 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 you know, know uh, 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 who's playing this weekend, you know, concerned, concerned with, 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 with Dan, with the NFL and the NBA, you know, folly, man, you know, meanwhile, this is what's going on, you know, on, uh, you know, uh, um, over there in the, uh, 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 Area of uh, U the Ukraine and uh, Slovakia and Russia. World War Three, man, escalating. And again, Jake immersed in nothing but folly and madness and, and and vanity, you know. But that's that's Babylon the Great. I had it pulled up. That's Babylon the Great, man. Ecclesiastes, Slovakia, Slovakia. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 6. 
Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low place, right? The rich is you Israelites, man. Even though, you know, you're at the bottom right now because Esau Edom is in the power seat. Okay. You are the rich. Okay. But you're in a low place right now. You're in a sunken place. Okay. Over here in Babylon, the great primarily where what? Where folly is set in great dignity, man. Again, you Jakes, man, those of you dwelling in the house of Saul, you unbelievers, all you give a shit about is folly, madness, vanity, content with, with, with the bread and circus that these Amalekites feed you on a daily basis. Worrying about stat lines. Okay? It's, it's, it's sick, man. You know? That's why the, the Most High has to uh, uh, put you two-thirds to death, man. All right? Y'all got to feel death by pain. That's the only remedy. That's the only remedy for you, man. All right, now, um, let's see. Let's get this. Now, as a result of this, NATO is discussing Article 5. All right. Now, I looked it up. I'm going to pull it up. You know, what is NATO's Article 5? Okay. And this is off the NATO website. Okay. It says Article 5 provides that if a NATO ally is the victim of an armed attack, each and every other member of the alliance will consider this act of violence as an armed attack against all members and will take the actions it deems necessary to assist the ally attacked. Now, you know, NATO being the beast, okay, that the whore rides upon, okay, the whore being America, and those ten horns, you know, represents the EU powers, okay? This is a big deal, man, because if, if, in, if indeed... NATO determines that Russia, you know, is to blame, okay, then potentially every NATO member could attack Russia, all right, you know, this, I mean, this is huge, and ultimately what this is going to lead to, again, is ultimately it's going to lead to the destruction of Babylon the Great, you know, and her own allies, the men who were once confederate with her, even pursuant to Obadiah the seventh verse, all right, are gonna uh, lob missiles on her, man. All right. Matter of fact, let's get that in uh, Second Ezra sixteen, where it talks about. Um, let me just read it. I want to paraphrase it. Let's just go to it. Second Ezra sixteen. And, uh, Let's just get right to the point. Second Ezra 16 and uh, verse 13. For strong as his right hand had been at the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp. So who's shooting these arrows? Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. These are the weapons of his and the nation. These arrows, these ICBMs. Okay, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. All right, behold, the plagues are sent, verse 14, and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled, verse 15, and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. And this is the ultimate plague, man, the plague of the nukes. Okay? This is, this is so heavy that Ezra, he's basically pronouncing, look at this. Verse 17, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Which proves reincarnation. The, the prophet's back, man, to receive his reward. Okay? Who's going to deliver the elect is Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? But this, I mean, again, this is a big deal. And ultimately, again, the, 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 the fate and the, the destiny for America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, is nuclear destruction, man. All right? Nuclear destruction. That's what's coming. So, this was a very impromptu. 
Um, and so I just wanted to speak on it. You know, hey, Lord willing, I don't want to write this out. You were edified. Hey, you know, watch and pray. Watch and pray and repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Shalom.